All right. So there's a bunch of different things that happen with self with management. So there's a whole mm -hmm. combination of different things that happen here. Um, and it's looking like, go ahead and put the models on the screen. They're, they're coming okay. in. Um, and you had mentioned this already that autistic children need this stuff taught uh, more than, oops. I need to go back. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see if I can figure that out. Oh, here we go. There. They need to be taught these skills more than the other people. So I thought yeah. I, what I if I when I was teaching this in the classroom, I would actually set a little timer here and we would teach the students just to, how long they were paying attention. And, and you can do mm. this if you want to teach your kids to notice how long they spend on an iPad or something like that. So I've just right. set the little timer here for four minutes mm -hmm. and we're just going to keep on talking. And at four okay. minutes, we're going to go, hmm, are we still on task? Did we deviate and go off to something right. else? Did we get uh -huh. distracted somehow? And in the classroom, we I would teach the students to just put a little tick mark, and and we would keep on teaching. But at that, just uh -huh. the little timer would go off at four minutes, mm -hmm. and they would check off: Was I paying attention? Was I doing what I was supposed to, or did I just float off and go do something oh, else? That's in my brain? great. Yeah. So this is the whole stuff. So I'm going to just uh -huh. hit that four button, and we'll see how we're doing in four minutes. Okay. So self observation is: Oh, am I actually paying attention? Mm -hmm. Self cueing is, oops, I got to stop and pay attention now. Self monitoring mm -hmm. is the little checklist thing that I'm talking about. Okay. And then self reinforcement is the different things that you do to reward yourself for doing the stuff that you need to get done and, and your schedule. Mm -hmm. So let me mm -hmm. give you an example that covers yeah. the first three. I had a student at one point who, um, this is, this I've generalized it to something else besides academics, but I had mm -hmm. a student who didn't understand personal space. So if he was talking to you, mm -hmm. he was like that, right up in your face. <laughs> uh -huh. And so I had a conversation with him and I said, do you like it when I get up in your face? He's like, no, 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 no. I said, well, you're not observing that you're doing this with other people. Mm -hmm. So what I need you to realize is there's this thing called personal space. So from the tip of your fingers to your elbow, it's about how far away you should be from people when you're doing things. So I watched him. And later that week, he's sitting there and he gets all excited. And then he goes, oh, and so he puts his hand out. So he's observing uh, it. He cued yeah. himself that he needed to stop. And then he used that little monitoring thing of his mm -hmm. elbow to step back. And right. then he kind of glanced over at me. And I, so he got that reinforcement of the teacher going, yeah, I saw you do right. that. So that's, that gives you uh -huh. a quick other way of seeing how this can work in, in other behaviors as well. Right. And I love that visual that you gave him and something that he has on him all the time. Use right. his arm. <laughs> right. I mean, so he can he can figure that space out right. very easily. Yeah, that's right. great. So then some of these other things we're going to talk about going on here, we'll have some more examples, but that's just mm -hmm. a quick one just on a behavioral yeah. side. Yeah. 